So I have a 46 convertible and my buddy Tim has been building the chassis and kind of putting some stuff together for me because I don't have time. And I just went to his place and picked up all the spare parts and the smalls for this car. And oh my God, there is so much for this car. It's insane. Like 12 door handles. I got like probably six or eight sets of tail lights, six or eight sets of front uh, marker lights. So there's a ton of stuff I got to go through, pick the best ones, find out what I'm missing. The car is coming here tomorrow. So you will see that and you'll see how clean this car really is. So let's look at what I have in the car and get that stuff unloaded. All right, so here it is. Minus the car. So we got running boards with the trim on it, old wood bows with uh, some loops on there, turnbuckles, whatever the heck these are, a new piece of wood to replace it, some top irons. There is the actual one side top iron, and the other one has been taken apart and sandblasted. We're guessing that they sandblasted them separately so they knew how it went back together and just never got to the other one. So I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing. Got some miscellaneous wiper arms and stuff. Uh, visors, convertibles, and coupe. This is a whole box of taillight sockets and trunk hinges and random brackets here. I got another one here, another one here, another one here. This got some plate brackets hood hinge with springs, ashtrays up the wazoo, more, more. And on the bottom there are all, uh, this is the trunk latch and door latches, door latches. There's gotta be 12 door latches in here. This guy, I got one, two, new old stock, three glove box doors, and I have a fourth when it's out to the chrome shop. Um, this is all tail lights. Some tail lights have the trim and, oh, this one's full of dirt. <laughs> um, some have the trim on it and the trim on top. This, oh my God, hood ornament. Um, can somebody say door handles? Holy crap. This is almost all door handles right here and trunk, a couple trunk handles. One, two, and a complete one. Also got handles that are in bags, which I'm assuming are the ones he wants to use. Headlight bezels. Inside door handles and underneath all this is a uh, a little trim that goes on the side of the cowl and some other trim that I don't know where it goes yet. Also some uh, gauge trim. Yeah, some uh, trim for stainless trim for the gauges. More trim for the glove box doors. Miscellaneous trim. And these are the garnish moldings that go on top of convertible doors. Uh, good luck finding these. I got five. That's incredible that there's even a set of those. Never mind, five. Uh, dome light maybe? I don't know. Mirror. Hardware for the top. Um, bunch of stuff that I'm, I wasn't. I'm not even sure goes to this car. Like these glass. Um, this box. More random stuff a pair of these tail light marker whatever they're pretty cool and look at all these trim for the marker lights in the front and there's more down there see there's one two three there's a new old stock one right here still in the bag tail light bezels look look at how many 
There's another one down there. And there's some on the taillights. Yeah, there's just an insane amount of stuff with this car. Um, a nice steering wheel emblem. Even though I'm not running that steering wheel. Two pairs of convertible rear quarter windows. Good luck even finding one. And I think this is a, a pair of coupe quarter windows or something. This I didn't think I even had. These are the panels that go on the sides when you're sitting in the rear seat. They're here and you can crank the window down and stuff like that. Or it's that hole. I'm not sure which one. But uh, there's the pair. There's the set. And there is another set. So I have two. I don't even know how much these would cost because I've looked so ever since I got the car. Because I didn't know it had all the stuff with it. I was just kind of looking at stuff I didn't see in the pictures. Um, I couldn't find these to save my life. And there's two sets here. So that's amazing. That's a rear panel that goes in between the body and the bumper. Here's a pair of inner fenders up front here. These two guys. I'm not going to use those because I have a custom set that's on there now. Because this has my car has a Mustang 2 in it. Those have had to be hacked up. So there was just a custom set made. And they're pretty nice, pretty simple. I guess that's it, along with stuff that's already on the car. So, oh, and my buddy Tim gave me this nice wall hanger. It looks nice, but all the louvers are bent, so it's not that nice. All right, so here it is, a 46 Ford convertible. This car is incredibly clean. It's insane. Um, so just get ready. It's gonna be craziness, insane, insane clean. Um, for, I don't know, it's not even for like New England, for like everywhere, this car is that nice. So um, it's kind of difficult to push. I need to mess with the toe. But as you can see, it is amazing. This fender here, the two rear fenders are new old stock. The doors are amazing. Nothing really wrong with them. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this car, there has never been a patch panel put in this vehicle. Um, even the rear floors, can't really tell this stuff everywhere, but same with that side. There has never been a patch in this car. Um, the front floors have a street rod bitchin' front floor section in there. I can just assume that they put that in there just to fit the 350 that's in there, even though I put we put the 350 in. Well, actually, my buddy Tim put it in there, but it was already set up for a, a Chevy, so I think that's why they put that floor in. Steering and everything's all hooked up. Nice Pontiac wheel I found for it. Tim actually got the uh, shifter to work with the column shift, which is pretty awesome. So, more new old stock stuff. Let's look at it. Okay. Front stone guard between the bumper and the body. New old stock. That pan right there, it's like a splash shield. New old stock. Hood. New old stock. Um, I'm sure this probably is. I know this one is. Um, this fender is the only one that's not and that needs work. And really it's not even that bad. It's got some Bondo on it still. I'm going to get that off with the Eastwood and just kind of wash over this whole thing with the planishing hammer. And this should be fine. This door, again, perfect. The cowl, he... Uh, he shaved the vent, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of because I love the vents. But he already did it. Not really going to change that. This dash is not going to stay here. This is a street rod dash that they made for it. They shaved literally everything on it. 
I'm probably going to put some kind of Dakota Digital thing in there. Not a fan of that. So, I don't know if you saw the Chrome dash I have for this, but I have a Chrome dash for it. It's still at Tim's. I brought it the other day. He's going to get all the gauges wired up for it. So, I could just literally put it in and plug it into the harness and be all set. Another new old stock finder. Nothing's really hung on anything yet. Kind of just hanging out. Trunk lid is my only iffy thing about this car. Maybe I'll put a plate in there and see what it looks like. Gleepa. I don't know. I guess it's not terrible. Yeah, I'll probably leave it. I just don't know what to do with the trunk latch now. Again, trunk. Just never seen a patch. Perfect. Even the trunk lid is perfect. Other than obviously the uh, the plate bracket that he set in there. Not a fan of that, but you know. Try to get that working. Let's open the hood and I'll show you the motor. Not that it's really anything special, but I'll show it to you. All right, so in here we got a 350 Chevy, painted gold, because gold is awesome. Um, got some nice valve covers on it, four barrel. Steering's all set up, manual steering rack. Um, it's got Mustang II suspension. Brake lines are all run. Everything like that is all set. So that's really clean in here. I like... Uh, I like that. Some shorty headers on there. Um, I really only need to put a radiator in here and, you know, get the coolant lines and all that stuff run and get the wiring in here and I should be able to drive this thing in and out of the garage. Um, if not that, probably even drive it down the road. Because um, like I said, the steering's all set up. Uh, I can shift it into gear and it stops, the throttle works, so essentially I should be able to, uh, should be able to drive this thing down the road. Alright, so that is the 46 convertible in a nutshell. Great car, just got to kind of put it all together. There's not really too much to do. I have been working on the 37 sedan delivery all week, but I just haven't recorded anything because it's really boring. It's just spot welds. That's all I've been doing. So I'll show you quick what I did. So I don't remember if I showed you in the last video or if I did it this week. I'm really not sure. Um, all the Clico holes on the sides of the quarter panel. Actually, the Clico holes everywhere besides the back because I'm still working on that. I filled, grinded it off, even the cowl. So this cowl, I mean, this uh, quarter was fitting a little weird. Uh, I was sticking out pretty far, so I fixed that. Then I, I spot welded it in the tunnel um, and I cut it here because I think I only want this piece removable. It kind of doesn't make sense to have this piece. Um, so I did that, then I spot welded in this angle that goes up and around to the floor, to the trans tunnel, and to this rear floor slash seat riser thing. Um, also made a couple angles to attach the rear floor to this seat riser. I spot welded in the trans tunnel extension for the back. As you can see, I welded the floors to the supports. I also made a couple angles here and there to tie in the inner fenders to the floors. Um, and I also fully welded the inners to that bead detail on the outside. So I pretty much just wrapped up everything that I kind of left loose. I had a lot of things just held in by tech screws and you know, I was getting close to the end and I really didn't have to do that anymore. So it came time, I needed to spot weld things. So that happened. 
Also, I don't know if you can tell down there, I, I spot welded or tack welded kind of the bottom of the quarter to the sub rails and also the inner fenders to the sub rails. You can see down in here. So this, these spot welds on the bottom are the ones for the sub rails. And this is that angle that I just did. I will uh, come back here and kind of grind those smooth. For, keep forgetting about this bullet hole. I need to fix this one. So we are almost done besides the back with this car. There's a couple little spots I need to fix. Not fix, but add pieces. I, the panels I made, some were a little short. It didn't meet up to something else. And I wasn't gonna make a whole one just because I was missing a little piece and it's an odd transition. Might as well just make a tiny piece to fit. I'll show you those right there. There's a piece missing on each corner of the front. Um, obviously the backs too, uh, but I'll finish that when I do the rear. And then I need to figure out what I'm doing here. As I, as I told you, I cut it off. I'm gonna do some rib nuts along the edge so we can just screw it down. But um, I don't know what I'm doing to do here. I think I wanna just weld a strip on that'll weld to this piece, overlap this, put a couple rib nuts in here. I don't know, I guess that would make sense. And put in rib nuts along the edges here. So these panels will be in for good because I want these removable because they were from the factory. I add, actually, I also added um, little, little angles here on the feet because um, they were they were pretty thick, but I'm still worried about hitting bumps over time over time. I don't want this to just bend up and then the whole cow sinks and then the door gaps turn to shit. Um, so I added those little little angles there on each side. Oh, that, that I need to address. I need to put a couple of floor braces like here and here on the inside. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that. Got some Model A sub rail pieces that might fit the bill. Might be a little too thick. I'll have to crawl under there and uh, see what needs to be done, but there, I definitely need to put a couple uh, floor braces in there because I'm, that's the only thing that's bothering me is right where your feet go pretty much. It's gonna go clunk, 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 clunk. Don't want that. So. Got to put some floor braces on there. Should be a piece of cake. That was this week. Sorry if it wasn't any, any fab, but there was a lot of work done. It just, I needed to fly through it and it was literally only punching holes with my punch and then spot welding. Rosette weld, whatever you want to call it. It wasn't anything cool to look at, so. And honestly, honestly, the car looks exactly the same as it did in the last video. So, eh, I figured I'd just do all the work and then come back and tell you what I did. But honestly, this car is so solid. With all the spot welds and it's like you push on the car now and it moves the suspension. Um, before with everything just kind of tech screwed together I'd kind of push on the back here. The front was fine, the front was solid because I welded everything to the cowl and that was good already. But once I came to like the back of the door and I was pushing on the back, like the body was kind of tweaking still. And I was like, oh, it's kind of shit in my pants because I'm like, if I weld all this and it's still kind of floppy, I'm, oof, I did something wrong. But thankfully, spot welded everything, added my little, uh, little angle pieces to tie everything together and it is solid as a rock so yeah i'm really happy all right thanks for hanging in there for another video this one like i said before i didn't you didn't see me doing anything it was monotonous and i didn't think it deserved to be on film so thanks for listening to me ramble thanks for liking commenting subscribing clicking on the videos sharing the videos telling your friends um i really appreciate it it's been a long week um, but I think, I don't think, I know I have a good video next week. So mark your calendars, 
next Sunday. It's going to be a banger.